What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Here's the Thing, and happy Easter. This past Sunday, we celebrated Easter Sunday, the start of our Easter season on the liturgical calendar that we will be celebrating with great joy for the next 50 days. Easter is not just a day. It is an entire season on the liturgical calendar calendar that lasts for 50 days, like I said, until Pentecost Sunday, a day that commemorates the dissension of the Holy Spirit onto the apostles that ignited them and commissioned them with the fire of the Lord, the fire of the Spirit to go out into the world and share the good news of Jesus Christ, who he is, what he did in their lives, and what they witnessed him to do in the lives of so many others. The Holy Spirit that gave them his fruits and gifts that we ourselves have today through our own baptism and our own renewal of our baptism in confirmation. After Pentecost, in about 47, 48 days from now, we'll enter back into ordinary time and we'll journey through that all the way back until Advent, which is the start of a new year if you can believe that. It is crazy how time flies. I bring all of this to you today to just help you identify where the church is in the liturgical calendar, but also to help you identify where you are in Christ's larger narrative and how he is at work. The really cool thing about the Catholic Church is that she always gives us something new to pray with. And that usually comes in the form of helping us better come to know and understand the life of Christ and how his life sheds light onto ours. As we journey through our own lives, we're able to look at his and where the church is at that point in time, what part of his life it's focusing on to help us understand ours more clearly. While we journey through the life of Christ and liturgical calendar, his life sheds light onto ours, and by default, we continue to journey more effectively through our own. I just encourage you to not just stand as a witness or a bystander to its unfolding, but to really find a place in its narrative. Where do you fall into it? How is the church drawing you more deeply into a personal relationship with Christ. How are you today, in our modern day and age, how do you stand witness and testify to the Lord in what he has done in your life and what he is doing in the lives of others, of those around you? A really cool thing about the church, her structure, her liturgy, the calendar, is that it doesn't just tell us about things of the past but it invites us into it as it brings it into our present. That's it. That's all I have for you today. Happy Easter, my friends. I hope you are full of joy and celebrating every day that we get to be a part of this season and that you help shed this joy and this light onto the lives of those around you. Know of my prayers for you. Stay holy, my friends, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.